Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at E Trailer, and today we'll be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination two bike platform rack right here on our 2021 Toyota Tacoma. So the Hollywood Racks Destination two bike rack is probably going to be one of your more compact and portable bike racks. So you still get the portability as well as the stability of a platform rack, but at a lower price point than your other usual platform racks. So we'll talk about this rack, but we'll focus on our Tacoma today. That way you can see if this is going to be a good fit for you, your bikes, and your truck. First thing I want to talk about is that this bike rack does not tilt away. If you want to be able to access your truck bed with this on or with the bikes on, notice how you have your bike in the way. So you can still open up your tonneau cover, get in there, but if you want something that does tilt away with the bikes on, you may want to check out something like this Swagman Schnook. That one can tilt away, but it's still compact and affordable. Now the way our bike is held on to this bike rack here is we have three touch points. So one and two are going to be our wheel straps, and the third is going to be our frame mount. So that frame mount is kind of unique in its design because you can move this up, down, left and right, and even around depending on the size and shape of your frame. The mass is also on the lower end so you don't have to lift your bike up too high to get it off of the rack. Helpful because your Tacoma is already kind of high up. This does have a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike though. So for your extra heavy electric bikes, probably not going to be the best fit for you. But for most of your bikes, this is perfectly fine. Now we're going to take our bike off. So we're going to start at the wheel straps. So we have a lever here. Just want to press that lever and then lift the straps up and then just slide them over to the side so they don't get caught up in your spokes. Then you're going to do the other one, press that lever, lift that up, and then just swing that over to the side. And finally, you're going to go for your frame mount. This can be kind of tricky depending on how your bike is shaped, so it's up to you to figure out the best way for you. I just like to support it with my arm as I press that lever and I take that strap out. Let's go over there. And then with that released, I can then grab my bike over that short mast. And just like that, I'm ready to go on a bike ride. I'm going to leave our bike over to the side so we can take a closer look at the rack itself. So notice how we have these cradles. I actually started calling them the wings of the rack because of the way they're shaped. And then you can accommodate different wheel bases here. See that strap and how it tilts back and forth. That strap also has a rubber cushion on it just to help support and grip that wheel. Notice the size of our cradles or wings as well. So the maximum tire width you can carry with this is up to three inches. So your extreme fat tire bikes, not going to be the best fit for you, but three inches is usually more than enough for most of your mountain bike and road bikes. Okay. Let's talk about this mast. So we have those two cradles here. We also have this stand holding this up. So if you wanna lower your tailgate and get maximum access there, let's start by taking down this mast. We have a knob here. That knob's gonna be loosened just a little bit in order to take out this support stand and then tighten that back down again. Once you've done that, you can then swing this mast down. So you have two different options here. <clears throat> you can use the frame strap or the wheel strap to secure things. So I'm going to use our frame strap here and that's going to go around our wings and then secure the mast to the frame of the bike rack itself. There you go. One and two. All right, let's talk about specs and measurements. When you have this bike rack on your vehicle, it doesn't add that much space to the back of your truck, but still some. So let's take some measurements to see exactly how much. I'm gonna measure from our bumper, 
all the way to the end of these nice plastic reflectors and that sits at 25 and a half inches. So very compact, especially compared to our truck here. This is definitely a measurement to keep in mind when you're backing into your garage, you're trying to park into a really tight spot. <clears throat> Another thing to notice with that though, is with the mass fully lowered, let's see if we can completely lower our tailgate and this is gonna sit right on the bike rack itself. So not ideal, but you get most of your accessibility into your truck bed. Let's talk about ground clearance. Ground clearance is measured at the end of the bike rack to the ground. See over here by those reflectors, it sits at 25 and a half inches. Over at the end of the bike rack to the ground, it's 21 inches. So your bikes are gonna sit at pretty much that height. Now you don't really need ground clearance with your Tacoma because it's a truck that's lifted up. So what's usually concerning with some bike racks is how high do you have to lift your bikes up onto the rack. This is a pretty good height there. Okay, what if you need to store your bike rack inside your garage or even inside your cab or you wanna take up a little less space? What you can do is you can fold this rack up. I don't see many Tacoma owners needing to do this, but I'll show you how just in case. You remove that clip and then that will allow you to loosen this bolt completely out of the rack. Let's see, once that's out, you can just let it hang because it has a string there keeping it up in place. And then you can fold this up against your truck. So that bolt you took out earlier, put that right back in. While this does take a little bit of time to thread and to make sure it's nice and tight. I personally like that because then it helps reduce the sway of our bike rack as we drive around. All right, once this is completely tightened down, you're gonna use that clip you took out earlier, pop that back in, there we go. And now we're in the portable or compact position. Let's take some more measurements. Closest point is now gonna be I must just like to say from the bumper to the bike rack, and that's a good six inches of clearance there. Length now added to the back of our truck is gonna be bumper to that assembly, and it sits at 13 inches. So pretty good, big difference compared to when this is folded down. You'll want it in this position when you're just planning on driving around town and you're not planning on taking your bikes out just yet. With this being so compact though, I recommend just keeping this down in the ready to load position. That way you can still have access to your truck bed, lower your tailgate without having to fold this down. Just saves yourself an extra step. But what is it like living with a bike rack behind your truck? Well, notice how with it folded up like that, you can kind of open up your tailgate. Obviously your taillights are not covered. Your license plate is down over here. And you can see how that is kind of covered, but with the open design of the destination rack, you can also just keep this in a down position if that's gonna be a big issue for you. Okay, let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. We have an inch and a quarter shank with a two inch hitch adapter included with the bike rack. So on your two inch hitch receiver on your truck, you're gonna keep that adapter on, pop that into the hitch, lock it into place. This uses an anti-rattle bolt with a three quarter inch socket. So I just use a ratchet wrench, makes it easier that way. You can pick up an extra here at E-Trailer if you want to. But anyways, that goes in there, that tightens down and creates an anti-rattle effect. How does that work? Well, we'll do a shake test here. I'm gonna shake our bike rack back and forth just to simulate that road movement and road vibration. And look at how easily I'm shaking the truck. That's because that connection there is nice and secure. So my personal thoughts about this rack is if you're looking for something that you can just keep in the corner of your garage and not take up too much room, or if you're looking for something that's lightweight and easy for you just to pop onto your hitch for when you wanna take your bikes out, this is a really good option. You can even keep this stored inside your cab if you have your truck bed full and you still wanna keep it with your vehicle. Now, if you wanna carry more bikes, more than two, this probably isn't the best option for you. You may wanna check out the Hollywood Racks Destination 4 bike platform rack if you like this design, 
or some of our more premium options like the Kuwek Transfer V2 4 Bike Platform Rack, that's a good one too. So definitely check out those videos here at eTrailer.com where we really explain the different parts about those different bike racks so you can make the best decision for you, the type of bikes you're carrying, and your vehicle. But right here, right now, this is a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2-Bike Platform Rack on our 2021 Toyota Tacoma.